Attempting our walk again this week. Yeah, I'm not sure um, we'll get too far. <laughs> no, it depends how it goes. I think we'll probably get blown away along the uh, I mean. I mean. along the fields, won't we? Yes. Um, and then tomorrow, um, my mum and dad are coming over. They can help. My dad's going to help Simon with these train room bits. Yes, the train videos will commence very very soon. And they're coming for dinner. Um, Monday's supposed to be a bit nicer, so depending well, on Monday what... Monday I'll be training, hopefully. Well, I thought we might go out somewhere for the morning, then you yeah. can do the training in the afternoon. So yes. it just depends on what the weather's like, because of course yeah. being a bank holiday... It's bound to be It's going to rain, rain isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a UK bank holiday. Indeed. So we will see you along our journey. <laughs> yes, yes, you can hear it's far too windy. It's getting it's far too cold. We're yeah. getting blown all over the place. So we've decided to abort the walk for today. Yes. <laughs> we thought we'd do ourselves a bit of a cooked breakfast, although it's lunch. Um we've got the bacon from our butchers, the nice thick stuff. We've got some scrambled eggs. The sausages are the Cumberland's ones we got from Asda, I think it was, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Asda, um, which are like two carbs per two sausages so that's not too bad at all and then a slice of our seriously low carb bread so yeah looking forward to tucking into this unfortunately our internet's playing up today so uh, i can't do too much online but i've decided to get my cricket stuff out and start having a play around with stickers and stuff and um, these are the ideas i've got so far these are some i'm starting off with so a lot of people like to do their countdowns on days to disney um, i know obviously we can't go anywhere at the moment but people have got them booked for next year so fingers crossed like us so i'm doing days to disney i've got some packing ones um and then if we go into here um i've got some different um park days so you can put what days you're going to parks fast pass days of the weeks um discovery cove the water park so yeah i'm hoping to get these out and uh, on my etsy store shortly just done some thank you stickers for me these are for my um etsy orders when they go out i like to put a little sticker sticker on them so yeah i've just done some of these so so far i'm actually really pleased with them they've come out really well so uh just need to play around with different designs and they'll be on my etsy store good morning good morning guys happy sunday yes happy sunday sorry about yesterday we yeah didn't, just didn't... like cut off really <laughs> apologize about that yeah um as you can tell i've got a little bit of a sore throat so i wasn't feeling 100 percent yesterday so. me neither so i don't think we really after i'd done the cricket bits and pieces i don't think we really did much else did we no um i did a bit more with the fifa tournament the fifa tournament starts today <laughs> yeah, so, yes, some of the guys are starting today aren't they um to everyone who's taking part you doing good yours? luck uh yeah. yes i might be later on this evening i'm playing alan my first game so, um so mum and dad are coming over uh in a little bit this morning yes uh working on the train room today um i we're doing we're having roast chicken for dinner um i'm doing my signature well it's not mine is it <laughs> strawberry cheesecake my go-to dessert yes. everybody seems to like that so uh yeah it's gonna be a busy day i think yeah, isn't it? i think so yeah um it's not too windy today sun's either, so. shining as yes. well cheesecake is well underway so i've done the base uh, again this is melted butter and almonds and then I've got the jelly cooling. So while the base is in the fridge cooling and the jelly's cooling, I then mix that together with the cream and the cheese. So my mum and dad have just left. They've yes. literally been here from 11 and it's now five, bless them. Yeah, um, so we haven't really filmed a lot at all no, today. No, we've been catching up. We had a really um, nice roast chicken dinner, well, didn't yes. we? And I made my strawberry cheesecake. Obviously, yes. there's some pieces left over for later. Although I did run into Will and Lily earlier too. Yeah, yes. Morrison's, weren't they? I did, yes. So hi. <laughs> Recognise them behind the mask. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, he's like trying to recognise people. I know. It? So um, we're going to show you what uh, my dad has been up to, my dad and Simon have been up to. So hang on two seconds, I'll turn you around. Okay. So into my workroom. So if those of you didn't know, off of my workroom, it looks a major state because everything's piled up in here for the moment. A poor clean workroom. Although my dad has started to make me. So for my flowers that um, and my leaves and stuff that I make for my sugar flowers. So this is basically going to enable me to put wires in and stand them up so that I can dry my flowers and leaves and everything a lot easier than trying to just uh, on the side. So yeah, although the drill bit broke, so we've got to go and get a new one. <laughs> so in this side... So you will have seen, I think, before what yes, it looks those like. those of you that have watched the uh, train, train vlogs. Train there will be new train vlogs coming this week. So, ta-da! Ta so this bit... I've got to get the proper brackets for it. But this bit fits in there like that. So you're going to have like a little hatch or so yeah, you're just going to sit it on it? I'm or going to attach it so it just sits there like that. Yeah. So this will be my train room so I can have an actual circuit. So you're going to have it all the way around now, aren't you? I can, so yes. So then it just allows the underneath now. So these are just B&Q's cheapest units, aren't they? Yeah, and the wood is so, basically B&Q wood as well, just yeah. on top. It matches so the So you've got all storage underneath and then you're going to have all your train bit across I the top, am. aren't you? You've got the power and everything down under here. Um, Put my local stuff up there on the wall so I can actually hang my shirts up you now. You can put those up now, can't you? Yeah. I can. Now you're ready to go. I am. Exciting. Yes. We are just off out for a little walk. And we're going to test the new drone. New drone, people. New drone. So we're part X in the old one. Yes. Um, I'm putting the money to it. Obviously, yes. Simon's eBay empire is going towards it too. It is. So yes. So yeah, we've got a new one. Drone. So yeah, we're just going to go out to the uh, farmer's track and just fly it down it there whiz. just to give it a whiz. Um, it's first maiden flight. And we'll put some footage in for you. So here we go. Simon is just making the final preparations. Although it seems to be got a bit windier again now down the farm track. So we're not sure how long we're going to be able to fly it for, if at all. You ready? Yeah. And off it goes. So that's the end of Sunday. Yeah, um, uh, I was going to say, sorry, it's not been a great vlog. No. Um, <laughs> I know we seem to see this every Sunday. Yeah, it's a recurring though, we? theme every weekend. Um, yeah, uh, flew the drone. Yeah, um, you would have obviously seen some footage already. Yes, uh, it was a decent flight. Actually, the 4K looks really good. Mm. Um, looked good in the farmer's field, which is the bit we should have put in. I am nice and clean. I've had a shower, washed my hair. Um... Yeah, we're going to continue this for tomorrow. Um, yes, just to uh, only purely to get a bit more footage. Yeah, extend um, it a bit. Plans for tomorrow. Uh, we're off out and about somewhere in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, taking the drone. Yeah, just going to go for a little wander. Um, tomorrow afternoon, I'm actually going to be filming some train set stuff. So You're will... very excited about that, I'm aren't so you? excited. I haven't done anything <laughs> to the train set for ages. Um, haven't released a video in probably over a year. Yeah. So You're it's not 18 months. It, aren't you? So there will be a new train video soon. And I am going to be baking because I've got three treat boxes going out on Tuesday. So I'm going to be baking macaroons, macarons, fudge, brownies and cookies. All tasty. So lots of stuff going happening tomorrow. Yes. So we will sign off for tonight and, and see you in we'll the morning. Tomorrow.
Good morning. Good morning. It's strange to see you on a Monday. Bonus day. Yes. Uh, we are off out to fly the drone for a bit. Yes, look, sun is shining. Mm -hmm. Makes so hopefully you get some really good drone footage with that. Yeah. Uh, we're going to Fairy Meadows, which is where we do the barbecue. Yeah. So yes, looking forward to flying over there. Um, I need to go to Booker's and Sainsbury's and get loads of uh, baking stuff. I need as well for a few little bits for the train room. And then I will concentrate on that this afternoon. So we'll see you later on this morning. So Simon's in the field, uh, currently flying his drone, having a play. Um, so I thought while he's out there, um, I'll do a little update on how keto is going. So this week hasn't been so great for me. My I weigh every day, um, not because I'm anal and I need to, but because I tend to take a weekly average because uh, your body changes so much from day to day. Um, I don't like to have a set one day a week. That's it, I'm going to weigh because, you know, one day I could be two pounds heavier, the next day I could be two, two pounds lighter, and the day I do weigh, I'm heavier, and then that puts it all out. So I weigh every day. Well, both of us weigh every day, and then we take a weekly average. This week has been so up and down, up and down, up and down. I don't know why. Um, I don't know whether I'm not eating enough. Um, I've been sticking to it. I've not been. Um, I've not had any like of the bad carbs or the bad foods or anything like that at all. Um, I have found that my appetite has decreased, so I don't know if that's a problem that I'm not eating enough. Um, I'm just not hungry, that's the trouble. I've had a couple of days where I've not felt too well, um, a bit of bloating as well, which I don't think has helped. Um, I also think I need to prep more because we've been doing it, I think today's the 57th day, um, and I'm getting to that point where I'm a bit bored. Um, which happens with every eating plan that I ever do. I get bored. A lot of people do, don't they? So I think what I need to do is I need to prep on a Sunday. Or, yeah, prep and plan on a Sunday for what I'm going to eat for the week. Um, because then I hopefully will have my meals planned, know what I'm going to eat, um, and go from there. The trouble with me is that I'm a very lazy cook. I hate cooking. I don't enjoy it at all. And keto is a lot of cooking because everything has to be cooked from scratch and it's clean eating. So it's a lot of faff for me. Um, wish I could employ a chef. That would be amazing. <laughs> uh, I want to stick to it though because the results have been amazing. 22 pounds down in 56 days. Simon's nearly 26, 27 pounds. He's doing amazing as well. So the results for themselves are really good. Um, it's just the, yeah, this week's been tricky and I have not missed or cra not craved i suppose i've missed food this week and thought more about like the carby chocolate stuff this week than i would normally hmm <laughs> it's tough it really is tough it's not not an easy thing to take on um because if I'm not hungry before I'd have just had a sandwich, well, obviously now I can't do that because of the bread. Yes, we've got our low keto bread, um, our low carb bread, but you don't want to be eating that every day because obviously it's expensive, so we're trying to keep it as a treat. So I think that's where prepping for me will come in handy because um, I can prep for the week, know what I've got coming, know what I've got, I haven't, what I've got coming up. I need to make some treats, but then it's also stopping myself from eating the treats because the cookies were tasty and I was down in a couple of days. So yeah, that's another problem. So uh, yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a ramble, but just wanted to update you guys and let you know um, how we're getting on because you've all been so, so supportive. And I know it, our um, weight loss and baking has um, inspired some of you to try keto as well. So let us know in the comments how you're getting on and how you're doing. Um, the baking I'm doing today isn't keto at all because it's all for orders from a business um, that are going out. But um, I won't be, we won't be eating any of that anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, that's where we are for the moment. So I'm just going to sit in the car and enjoy the sunshine while Simon plays with his drone for half an hour. I think the battery life's only about 20 minutes anyway, so we can't be long. Um, yeah, so we'll catch up with you in a bit. First on the cooking agenda today is the sugar cookies. So this is uh, basically um, for a business order. So what we've got in here is 125 grams of sugar and butter 
250 grams of uh, plain flour, one egg, mix it all together, vanilla essence, and then it gives you this nice dough that comes together. So then we take this out. Um, it's going to go in the uh, fridge for about an hour because um, I always find that uh, my sugar cookies um, work a lot better when they are uh, in the fridge for a bit and harder to roll them out first. So, yeah. These are the finished macaroons or macarons. I never know how to pronounce them. Unfortunately, we do have one dodgy tray. You can never get 100% perfect, but that's absolutely fine because the ones that aren't great. My mum absolutely loves macarons, so I'm going to send them to her. But these have come out really well. We've got some nice feet on them. The feet are what are these little uh, bits, fuzzy bits around the bottom. That's what they call them, feet. Um, I've gone for yellow this time, although these are going to go in. Um, I've got three orders for treat boxes and three of each will go in there. But I'm also doing a, a style shoot next weekend um, for the wedding business. And the uh, colour is citrus, so I've done some yellow ones basically, so I can do those um, and have those first craft as well. So now it's on to shaping the cookies. So that's the cookies done. We've got some circle ones for the style shoot that I'm doing. And uh, the ones with the crimped edges are for an order. And uh, these ones are for just some display ones. So uh, yeah, they're all cooked and ready to go. Now I'm gonna go and see to the fudge and the brownies. Brownies are out. Fudge is in the dish, ready to go in the fridge. And I think we're done for this evening. So we've made cookies, brownies, fudge, macarons. Yeah, lots. <laughs> um, cheeky plug, if anybody is interested in any uh, treats at all, uh, do give me a shout. Um, I do have a page called The Cookie Company. I'll leave a link down below um, so you can have a look on it. And uh, yeah, I do lots of different treats and personalised cookies and stuff. So this is my training room. Um, obviously, you saw these bits in yesterday's vlog. Yep. Um, I've just put a new section in, so this bit will come out like that. So we've got access in and out. Um, but also when I put it in, it's also flat and level. So my trains will run smoothly across it, put the track. So the idea is, track will run across this bit it will have all the same as everything else on it i'll just leave the two end tracks not connected so i can disconnect and connect them when I want it makes to it stuff. easier for you to get in and out then doesn't it yeah and i should do the same because what I, my plan is eventually i want another tier so i should probably have a bridge and everything running across here and there'll be a bridge across here so of course the bridge here will need to come out as well so i'll probably use the same sort of design so if you want to see more of what Simon's been doing in his train room, his uh, train videos will be starting again, won't they? They will. I think there's about six or seven on there already from a while ago. Um, but please do go back to the first one and watch the first one because it's all about the story of it and everything and that. So yes, please watch that. We will link it below, actually. We will. Dinner this evening is pork belly with uh, some salad and tomatoes. Simon's got... Uh, Baby Bella and Pepperami. We're about to settle down and watch uh, the walkway guys and their travel day. So we're going to sign off for tonight. Uh, you've had good fun in your train. Oh, I have, you? yeah. You've got, it seems to think you've got a lot more space this time around, don't I you? I have. It looks bigger. Um, yeah. So, yes, lots more track. Yeah. So, we, as I said, we're going to sign off for tonight, watch some vlogs, and uh, we will see you again next week. See you next week, guys. Bye. Bye.